Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Walker. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The General out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic, military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the First European War. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him, that question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Alicia, someone's coming. Freeze! Uh, Woken, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Help me. Welkin, do something! Well? It's no use. The wound's way too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh, God, Mother! Mother! It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... You find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing.
Isara, how about you quit messing around and help us look? The Edelweiss still requires maintenance. Your own brother's gone missing here, and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look? It's because he's missing that I'm doing this. We have no idea when he'll be back, but... Making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for him now. <sighs> Not like I care either way. I hear what you're saying, kid. Just be sure you rest up while you can. You've been working since first thing this morning. You're Squad 7's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us, we're all toe up. Hear me? Getting a good night's rest is another thing you can do for your brother right now. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Largo. Oh, sure. could do was watch him die that's not true you helped him in a way only you could alicia the look on his face when he passed on wasn't one of pain no i guess you're right thank you logan i'd always just thought of the imperials as monsters out to kill gallians but they're just as human as we are huh with families of their own to fight for yeah, they are. It's like the war started and we all forgot that. It's so simple, but... If we weren't at war, he might be back at home with his family now. <sighs> hey, Welkin. Did I ever tell you I don't have one? A family, I mean. I grew up in an orphanage. I don't even know my parents' names. No, you didn't. But maybe I'm actually lucky, huh? If you... If you never have a family in the first place, you can't ever lose them. I guess being all alone has its perks. <laughs> Don't even joke about it. You know you're not alone. You've got me and Ease, everybody in Squad 7. We're all a family now, Alicia. Squad 7? A family? Sure. I'm the dad, you're the mom, Rosie and Isara are like daughters. And Largo is the grandpa. Come on, can't you see it? <laughs> if he heard that, you know Largo would kick your butt. Sure, we have our share of fights, but they say that best friends fight the most, right? Yeah. So don't go saying you're all on your own, you hear me? All right, Logan. And thanks. Helmet and rifle? They belong to Fritz, sir. Are you two the ones who laid him to rest? Yes. There are signs of medical treatment inside the cabin, sir. Why then? Explain to me the reasons you had to save his life. He was delirious. He was crying out for his mother. We may be enemies in this war, but we all have families waiting for us at home. As a human being, I couldn't just sit by and watch a man in pain without trying to do something. We always called him a mama's boy, sir. And now... Sorry, Fritz. I wish we could have been there for you. And you, son, do you have a family? Yes. I have a younger sister. 
And I have another sort of family as well. I have the soldiers of my squad. I see. I have a wife and daughter back at home. I feel the same as you. My men are like a second family to me. Thank you. Thank you for honoring Fritz as you did. I'm sure his mother will appreciate it. I suppose we'll meet again on the battlefield. I'm sorry for that. You both seem like good people. For now, so long. Well, I guess we should hurry back and join the squad. You're right. 